everyone oh my gosh we are just looking past okay <laughs> i don't know what i just said we're looking past something anyway <laughs> There's just like a huge box light in the way, but anyway, so this is the video you've all been waiting for or At least I hope you've better been wanting to know this just kidding You may or may not want to know this but I am going to share with this with you either way whether you like it or not <laughs> But anyway, so this is my morning skincare routine a lot of you um, have been really asking me an updated skincare routine Honestly again, I always stick to the basic like toner serum moisturizer sunscreen Honestly sunscreen is like the most essential thing so I will clarify sometimes I don't even use any of these products in the morning. I literally will just wake up, not even wash my face, because again, you don't want to disrupt the microbiome, and then I'll just put on sunscreen. But I will say, if you are an excessive sweater, or you just do not wash your bedding regularly, <laughs> then you might need to wash your face in the morning. But like, like if you normally like change your bedding on a regular basis, and you don't really sweat that much, like your face can't really get dirty. So it really is just an option on like where you are at as a person, whether you should be washing your face in the morning or not. So yeah, anyway, that is just to get out of the way. But yeah, so I wake up, I don't even wash my face, um, so there's that. And then if I do decide to put on skincare, um, if it's not just sunscreen, then this is what I'm about to show you right now. So I don't have anything on my face. I literally just came out of the shower, dried my hair, all that kind of stuff. And we're just gonna go on with the toner. Honestly, when it comes to toners, I really don't care. As long as it's not like witch hazel or like something like an astringent, something that's like too harsh, so alcohol, again, you wanna stay away from. Sadal and benzoyl alcohol are fine, but if it's pure like SD, D alcohol or just alcohol it says there's so many different types of alcohols so definitely do your own research but I can even put in the description good alcohols and bad alcohols in skincare to look for and to avoid because in CeraVe they have a bunch of alcohol but it's like but it's like the moisturizing sadal benzoyl alcohol anyway I am just going to shush and I'll just put that in the description for you so you know what to look out for so this I am just using a teamy butterfly mist I have a teamy code if you want to use it but don't feel obligated again this is one of those toners where it's like I'm not crazy over but it's not bad or it's just very natural it's essentially just tea that's preserved very nicely in a spray bottle <laughs> but it's very calming and obviously it has antioxidants so I know this is not scientific but it smells delightful um <laughs> so that's always a bonus I just pat it in and it's really nice to just keep the face moist and wet and this definitely does the job for that moving on to my serums so I go in right away like immediately because my face is nice and wet so it can have time to trap in the moisture the serum hyaluronic acid from the ordinary and this is a new contraption I don't know if you may or may not have seen this review on my channel if you have not checked out but I'm obsessed with this like I just use the flat side to apply my um, products with so I actually will just instead of putting on my hands I'm just gonna put on the product and this just motivates me to not do this directly because I get called out for that a lot and I know I know it's bad but I still do it <laughs> so this device just kind of motivates me to stop doing that and being like not lazy anymore so what basically this does I don't know how the radiation will affect the mic <laughs> but it basically vibrates like 26,000 times a minute or something it's it sounds like what 26,000 vibrations a minute. So basically applying this device with product. This is supposed to just simulate collagen at the same time penetrating the product each time way into the epidermis. I do a close up. So this is what my skin is looking like right now. Obviously it's gonna look red now because I just used the Touch Beauty device. I'll link this down below. This stuff is like, again, no joke. I mean, I'll link all these products down below because they're my favorite. But yeah, this is something. I never thought I would become a huge fan of just straight up facial devices. I thought they were kind of like, I don't know, not essential, which they're not. But at the same time, like you literally see results and feel results. Like. I I am just all for that. It just promotes blood circulation in the most natural of ways because I used to always pat, pat, pat my skin and I don't know if that like breaks capillaries or what because I always want to stimulate collagen and blood flow. And this is just the one thing that just like gently, gently exfoliates and just rejuvenates. <laughs> like you can use this legit every day. You can use it all day, every day if you wanted to. Like honestly, <laughs> it's not gonna hurt. Just for the flat side for applying, the most gentle thing of life anyway the next product I'm gonna still be using this to apply product the next product is the buffet from the ordinary I hope this thing is not annoying cuz like it kind of is annoying <laughs> I'm gonna quickly apply this 
And a lot of you also ask why I don't apply product on my forehead. And literally the only reason why I don't is because first of all, I don't break out there. Like I've never broke out there once in my life. <laughs> Despite my crazy cystic hormonal acne that was here, I've maybe had a few pimples, but my forehead just doesn't want to break out. And second of all, when I talk, I don't really raise my eyebrows too much. So I don't really have much expression lines. So I don't really need to put product there if I'm not really like, like when I talk normally on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't raise my eyebrows unless if I'm like consciously thinking of doing it so again I don't wrinkle or like crease there at all so that is why I do not apply product there if any of you were wondering because because yeah I've been getting like a few questions on that so I just thought I would address it there and then obviously I apply cream so I'm gonna just mention two products because I alternate between the two but I do like to mainly apply vitamin C in the morning but I will mention this fighter gel though this is just amazing it's legit like aloe in a tub it's so amazing for scars it's literally like jelly it's like super Per. I'll just apply a little bit now. It's cooling. I store these in the fridge so it prolongs the life and it has MSM, it has green tea. It pretty much is an acne scar sufferer dream in a bot, like in a jar. This legit will help your acne scars immensely. Like I'm not even kidding. You only need a little bit, like a little goes such a long way and it'll last you for so long. It's amazing. It's so soothing and calming to the skin, but obviously the main thing why I like it is again the aloe, the green tea, and the MSM. It's amazing for acne scars. Legit. Also, again, I will mention vitamin C is also just as amazing as this. Vitamin C and sunscreen, I feel like those are the two things that are like inevitable. Like you should not not have them in your skincare routine, but this is again just banish vitamin C cream. It also has things like rosehip, vitamin E, aloe, of course. But again, the banish is a whole vegan cruelty-free brand that when you order them online they're made freshly the day of they make fresh batches every single day so you'll never get old product so that's amazing it lasts a lot and I just put them in the fridge again to just prolong the life of them and it's amazing especially vitamin C no matter what brand it is it oxidizes so fast pretty much the second you open up a vitamin C serum or moisturizer a vitamin C oxidates so fast so again keeping vitamin C in the fridge no matter what brand it comes from is essential because it's kind of useless vitamin C starts to degrade over time the more and more you open it and expose it to air. Anyway, I'm just going to apply the vitamin C. For all you don't know, I'm a Banish warrior. I'm a partner with Banish, so I will leave my code here. You can use code Sonya for $5 off any purchase $50 or more, and it is amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend the brand. But the fact that, again, they're vegan, cruelty-free, they make fresh batches the day you order them, and their ingredients are all organic and amazing. I just give them basically all of my love and affection. <laughs> and also, I believe every four or five empty bottles or product you save. Essentially, if you send them back to Banish, I believe you get a free product in return, so that's amazing. And they recycle them properly. So it's basically a nice thank you for sending back the products, I guess, for recycling your uh, products properly, and they send you another one, so. <laughs> That's also a bonus. Anyway, that should be all rubbed in. Now at this point, my skin is just looking so fresh and vibrant and glowy and just, I can take on the world, you know what I'm saying? I'm superwoman in an imaginary cape. But yes, <laughs> anyway, the very last product I'm gonna do, obviously sunscreen. So this is my trusty Luminosity sunscreen. This is a daily habit, SPF 30. I'd say SPF 30 is the minimum. SPF 30 to SPF 50, I mean, again, like the percentage of protecting your skin, SPF 30 to compare to 50 is not really that significant, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with SPF 50. But SPF 30 is honestly like really good for just everyday use. If you're just chilling out inside the whole day, like SPF 30 is perfect. I also have a code for them. If you want to use uh, code Sonia, I'll just put here. Um, yeah, their sunscreen is amazing because it doesn't leave a white cast and also it's so light. It just feels like a light moisturizer. There's also aloe in this. <laughs> it does not feel like a sunscreen at all. And this is one of the few sunscreens like I can even say that and like confidently. But yes, anyway, I'm just very, 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 very happy with my whole, my whole skincare routine. Like I am just flying. I am soaring. I'm flying. I am just escalating my, my, my feelings of joy are just escalating every second, every awakening second when I apply these things to my face every morning. <laughs> so that being said, um, yeah, this is pretty much my whole skincare routine. Very simple, effective, and again, sometimes I just wake up in the morning, just put on this sunscreen and I'm good. <laughs> like, So it really just depends how far you want to take your own skincare. Everyone's so different, but um, with that being said, yeah, this is what I do. So anyway, <laughs> again, with that being said, I hope you have a good day, good night, wherever you're watching this. Please subscribe if you want to see more of me. I post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss the video I post. All my social media links will be linked down below, as well as the products in this video, as well as this as well as my second YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to that so you know when I release music, you'll be notified. And lots of virtual kisses and hugs. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay.
Peace. <laughs>